This video is not intended for viewers under the age of 13. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're taking a look at the MMC PS17 Probus. It's the uh, MMC version of a Masterpiece Brawl. It's part of the Assaultus Combiner. So, pretty excited about this one. Let's see what he has in store for us. Stay tuned. <laughs> As usual, let's start off with accessories. First, he comes with his gun, which doubles as a machine gun in tank mode, but actually transforms here for robot mode, and then the peg for all mode. It's got some sub detail on it, not much, but it's got a nice looking handle. And then a little bit of detail coming down to the barrel. Overall, it's okay. And the gun will peg into his hand nicely using the method that we've come a become accustomed to with MMC in this line. Strangely pegging into the back rather than the side, which is the typical masterpiece. But it holds securely enough. And, and his rifle will peg into alt mode in the stereotypical machine gun location so it's nicely done and he comes with two of these cannons which are done fairly well sculpted nicely a little bit of paint detail here but fairly simple and what you do with these is you take this transforming bit and you plug them into the holes on either side to create the dual cannon that mounts in this way in tank mode and then if you transform it it actually attaches this way in robot mode Nicely done in my opinion. And this will peg in nicely into the alt mode. You just want to be careful because any slight nudging will cause it to come off. So it doesn't hold super, super well. And if you choose to, you can put the dual cannons in the turret and expose them over the head like this in that position. Which does give him kind of a menacing look. Really well done, in my opinion. He comes with an accurately painted face for Swindle. In the old version, the silver paint for the mouth came up over the nose, which wasn't accurate. So we'll go into this in more detail when I review him. But it is nice that they included it. Definitely will be putting this on him. And last they included a replacement ratchet for the blast off shoulder for Assaultus or Bruticus. Apparently one that came installed from the factory was too loose and couldn't handle the weight of blast off. So it's nice that they included this. And they also, surprise surprise, included instructions on how to change it. which. Most companies don't do that, so it's good that they included it. Thank you very much, MMC. Alright guys, here we have Probus in his tank mode, which this is actually how he comes in the package. So, obviously these aren't attached, and this is compacted, but very minimal is needed in order to, to get him in full tank mode right out of the box. So let's take a look here. Coming down the side and you got the nice silver painted tank wheels over solid black treads. But they do have nice compact and well working wheels. This thing rolls really, really nice. 
you've got a lot of molded detail coming down the side. Got some venting here. Nice details going all along. Everything up here along the side of the turret. Now these, you want to be careful with. They're soft plastic. And you'll have the tendency to want to grab right here when you're lifting the turret up. I would recommend against it because if you look at this one, it's a little bit warped. And I only grabbed it once or twice. So you want to be careful. I may have to hit that with some heat, try and shrink it back up, but it's definitely bending in the middle. Continuing down the side here. And they're more nicely molded detail. You do have, I don't know if it's accurate, but you do have a side view mirror on the tank, which is painted on the inside to give it some reflection. Looking at the front, get some nice headlights. Really good molded detail in the chest. Same for this side. Looks really good. I've I've went ahead and added the the Toy Hacks cartoon accurate sloppy Decepticon symbols. So let me know what you think of those. I personally going for cartoon accuracy. I think they look pretty damn good. But continuing down the side. To the back. Got some nice molded details here with some tools. Storage container. Nice, nice paint. Silver, gray, black. Or sorry, gray and white. Orange and red for the, the tail lights. Again, I don't know how accurate that is, but it's a cartoon from the 80s. What can you say? Looking at the bottom, he hides things really, really well. You would just think it's a toy tank, but still molded detail going along the bottom as well. So overall, a really nicely put together tank mode. And just a few things, the turret can go up and down and the barrel will extend out for tank mode. Obviously, if you have the, the double barrels here attached then obviously it's going to hamper spinning, but you also want to be careful with the antenna on these. Another note too with these, if you ever want to manipulate the cannons to keep it from unpegging really easily, I find it best to just grab it like this, hold that down, and then go up and down as you want. Just avoid a little bit of a headache. but. The turret can do a full 360, so nicely done. Another nice touch is the hatches can actually open. So good attention to detail. And then lastly, the looking glass, periscope, whatever you want to call it, does actually spin around. So another nice touch. Overall, really, really well done tank mode, in my opinion. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Just for those that may ask, this is the uh, comparison in tank mode to the DNA design Susanu. And I'll do it again in uh, robot mode, but I think they, they look pretty good together, honestly. And here we have Probus or Brawl in his robot mode. And I have to say that this does definitely remind me of the G1 cartoon. I'm going to put a comparison image up right here so we can see. But in my opinion, that is just about spot on. So let's get in close and look at the details here. I'm going to go up on the camera. But we've got a Nice head sculpt, beautifully painted with the orange eyes and crest. Coming down, we've got some the paint on the headlights there. 
coming down the torso silver for the belly button everything else majority is just green and gray plastic you got silver painted rims which you come through from tank mode coming down the arms not much more to be honest and down the legs a little bit of paint here on the details but man, those details really do come through don't they then down to the feet legs are a little thick but I think it still does look good coming up the back he does clean up really really well in my opinion you've got the nice details of the tank the tank turret gray plastic here and here but man that detail really does come through on this guy so let's go over some articulation head is on a ball so limited up that's about it you get down to there because of 360 and you do get a little bit of attitude coming out of the arms you've got actually two joints in the elbow you got one here and then one inside the Sorry, shoulder. One here and one inside the arm. So, provides you a decent range of motion. He could go all the way up, come out quite a bit. You can do a full 360. Nothing forward and back though, which is surprising, just with how much articulation the shoulder has. But, coming down the arm, you do get upper bicep rotation you get a little more than 90 if you work with it on the elbow which is nice coming down to the hands hands do swivel each finger is individually articulated at the knuckle but he does have the typical curved fingers they can't open and close but it's limited the thumb is on a ball coming over to the waist you do get waist swivel and if you want more just lift up on the back but that's more than you'll ever need you do get a nice ab crunch No complaints there. Universal for hips. So you will get the full 90 out to the side. You can lift up your hip skirts with ratchets. Get full 90 forward. Limited back, depending on where you have the, the turret placed. For the knee, you can actually cheat it a little bit and get a tad bit more than 90. So that's well done. Coming down, you've got some toe down, nothing really up, but you do have an ankle rocker. So articulated really well overall I have to say he is probably up there with my favorites um, for me it comes down to really him and vortex but uh, he is a great great all great robot mode definitely one of my favorites in MMC's lines well done just for comparison, here he is with the reissue Masterpiece Soundwave and also the DNA Design Susanu, their version of Bludgeon. 
and uh, two tanks side by side here actually really, really look good together. All right, final thoughts wise, what can I say? With the, uh, the attention to detail by MMC as far as cartoon accuracy, the articulation, and overall detail and appearance really makes this character worthwhile as far as uh, being added to your collection. That and priced at right around $100, can't go wrong. He, uh, he's an amazing bot. Me, I'm getting him not even for uh, combined mode to be honest. I've got the Zeta Toys Bruticus, the cartoon accurate version. So this guy is going to be displayed solely in bot mode with the rest of the team. I couldn't be happier. This comes with a definitely, definite high recommend for me. I did purchase this from Chosen Prime, so last I saw they had them in stock. Drop them a line and uh, pick them up. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.